Hello and welcome. In this video, let's understand how we can create an SQL Server project using an existing database. A SQL Server project is basically a representation of your database in Visual Studio. Using this project type, you can create .dacpack files and using those .dacpack files, you can do your deployments in your database. Okay, let me show you which database I will be using for this demo. So let's go to SQL Server Management Studio. Here you will notice I have a demo DB here. Basically, in this demo DB, I have some tables, some short procedures, and I also have some functions as well. And what I will be doing, I will be creating an SQL Server project based on this particular database that is demo DB. To start, let's open up the Visual Studio. Once Visual Studio is open, you need to click on continue without code. Okay, so let's click on this. Once your Visual Studio is open, you need to go to view and you need to select the option that says SQL Server Object Explorer. Once you are here, you will see there are some default connections. Let's remove these connections because we want to start from scratch. Now, right click on your SQL Server and click on add sql server here you need to give your server name because my database is running on my local machine so i can give a local host here or i can give a simply dot here because dot means i am referring to my local machine but if your database is running somewhere outside you need to give the host name of that particular database server or the ip address of that database Right. Once that is done, you need to specify how you want to authenticate and connect to database. Here, if I open this drop down, I have multiple options. Depending on the requirement, you can select whichever option you want. I want to connect to my database using Windows authentication. But if you have an SQL Server username and password, you can use SQL Server authentication and provide username and password. Right. But I will select Windows authentication here and I will open this drop down which says trust server certificate and i will open this and select true here because i am not using any certificate so i will just trust the certificate that is available at the server once it is done you need to select a database actually this part is not mandatory you can just click on connect and we can go from there also so let's do that i will click on connect and it will add a connection here Let's expand this and you will see we have the folders that we will see in the SQL Server Management Studio also. We have this database folder and you can see my databases are listed here. So I am interested in DemoDB. So I will expand this and you will see the tables, the procedures all are listed here. Right. So now we need to create an SQL project based on this particular database. So just right click on this database and click on create new project. This will open up a wizard. Here you need to give your project a name. I will give it demo DB database. Here you can select some options. Here you can select at which location you want to create your project. And you can select if you want to create a new solution and your project in different directory or not. And if you want to add source control options in your project or not. And in the import settings, you can select the default options, but I would suggest you can uncheck this one, which says import reference logins. Because if you check this one, this will import the login information also into your SQL Server project. And for security reasons, you may not want to do this. Okay. And you can uncheck this also, which says import database settings. Okay. And here you can select the folder structure that you want to use in your project. Either you can say none. If you select schema, there will be one folder with your schema name and all the objects of your database will be created in that particular folder. If you select object type, it will create separate folder for all your object types, meaning it will create a folder for stored procedures and it will create a folder for functions and within those functions and within those folders it will put your database objects 
And the last option is schema slash object type. Basically, it will create a folder with your schema name and then the object type. So it will be like DBO slash store procedure. And within that folder, it will put your database objects, right? So I will go with the last options because this will make my project more maintainable. And here you can say how many files per folder you want to select. After your configuration is applied, you can click on start and it will start creating the SQL Server project for you. And within a few seconds, it will start importing your database schema and the objects that are present in that schema. And it will take some time depending on your size of your database. Once the process is done, you will get this message. Click finish to continue. So let's click finish here. And you will notice on the right hand side in the solution explorer, I have my SQL Server project. I have this schema folder here. And within this folder, I have the options for functions, stored procedures, table, and user defined types. Depending on the objects that are available in your database, it will create the folders. And if I open these folders, I have my functions here. I have my stored procedures in the stored procedures folder and I have my tables here. So my project is successfully created. And the last thing that I want to show you how to build and get the DECWEC file from the SQL Server project. For that, you can right click on this and click on build. This will start the build process. And within a few seconds, it will say build one succeed. So you can right click on this and click on open folder in file explorer. Here you can go to bin folder and then go to the debug folder. And within the debug folder, you will see demo db database dot deckpack file. So basically this file you can use to do your database deployments. So that's it for this video guys. In this video, we have seen how we can create an SQL server project using an existing database.